brother. I came up to my brother and he was pretty chill about it. He didn't care. After my aunts and my brother, I came out to my friends, like whether they're from work, high school, or like like college. Just like random friends, like I came out to them next. First it was the few family members and then friends. And they were all like so thin because they knew me. And even before they knew I was gay, like my personality is not going to change just because I tell them. Um, so, and then after my friends, my parents, and they were the hardest because they both kind of grew up around religion and they were, and they were in the 80s and that's the time when like, like being gay, that's like not okay. Like that's, like yeah, being gay was like, there's a lot of gay people in the 80s, but I still wasn't really fully accepted. Not until um, gay marriage was legal in 2016 and then the Orlando thing, the Orlando club, they got attacked. Um, I think those two things changed a lot. Like what was the purpose of like not letting people get married? What was the purpose of, of shooting innocent people at a club? Like what was the purpose? And one day specifically, that's when it just all happened. Like it all came at once and like she got her answer. She asked me, cause I was like sitting in a certain position, like with my legs crossed, I think like that or something. I don't know how to explain it. Um, and she's like, she's like, that's not how guys sit. And I'm like, I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, I just think that like, um, like you need to be, she's like, I just think you need to behave more manly. Like, she's like, I just think you need to behave more manly. Like if you wanna like get married someday and like find a wife, then like women usually like manly men. And like, I remember my response being like, oh, what would it matter like who I married? And then she took that, I think she took the hint and she's like, um, like, like, what do you mean who you, she was like, what do you mean who, what do you mean what does it matter, like, like you need to marry a woman, and I was like, why does that matter though, like, why does it matter what I marry, and she's like, what do you mean, like, so are you gay, and she's like, and then I was like, I don't think it matters what I am, like, I don't feel like I should label myself, and that was pretty much her answer, and she pretty much took a hint, and after that she just, started saying I was gay. I mean, I am gay, but like, I don't know, I just didn't want to tell her. Like, I, I felt like I didn't owe anyone an explanation. Like, and I, I don't, who likes being vulnerable and saying like, yeah, I'm this, I'm, I'm everything you're against. I'm just gonna randomly say that, I'm everything you're against. Why would I do that? So I just said, why does it matter what I am? Um, and she pretty much took the hint. And then the next person I came out to was my dad. That was like the last person to come out to. And that didn't go so well. We were on the phone and like my mom, I didn't really come out to him. Um, I guess he heard from other people in my family, but we were on the phone one time and then he called, I called him and then he said, oh, uh, we were just having a normal conversation. He's like, oh, by the way, I heard, um, I heard some news about you and like, like something that that kind of worried me and I'm like what are you talking about and he's like well I've heard that like you've been up to some weird things with guys like you've been talking to guys or something and I was like and the second he said that I knew exactly what he meant <laughs> obviously like you're you're talking to guys and then I responded um what did I say I said, I was like, oh, what do you mean? And he's like, yeah, I heard you're talking to guys and like, like, I just want to know, like, like, what are you up to? And then I was like, um, well, I mean, I don't know what you're referring to, but I mean, I guess I'm talking to guys. And then he's like, he's like, what do you mean talking to though? Like, are you 
having a relationship with guys and I'm like and then I, I pretty much said the same thing I said to my mom I was like why does it matter like like why does it matter who I'm talking to or like having a relationship with and then the second I said that that's when he got mad that's when he like his whole personality flipped he was like he was like what do you mean like like that's not okay like you can't be talking to guys like that's that's not okay, like, that's really wrong, like, he didn't know that that's wrong, and in my head, I was just, like, <laughs> I can't believe we live in a world where, like, like, people are so bothered by that, like, what, <laughs> and I was just, like, in my car on the phone with him, I'm, like, damn, like, my dad is, like, so bothered by this, and it's, like, I feel like I was in a movie, I'm, like, this is so typical, coming out, like, to my dad and him getting mad, I'm, like, I'm over this, like, Ugh, get me out of this situation. Um, so he got mad. He, he, um, he told me that, like, he basically, like, inferred that, like, if me and him want to have a good relationship, then I need to not be gay. So, we, I pretty much told him, like, if you don't want to talk to me because of this, then, then you don't have to talk. And, that that was that we we haven't really talked after that and it's been two years um, since I talked to my dad and then I got sick recently and then we talked on the phone and I kind of apologized for everything and it worked out okay and and like and if you grow up in a religious background like I know it's hard like you're scared you're fucking scared like you're just like I'm gonna get kicked out like as soon as anyone finds this out and my advice is like yeah it's okay to be scared like it's normal to be scared and if they kick you out let them kick you out like what are you what are you gonna do lie to yourself your whole life you can't do that like and trust me getting kicked out of your house is not that bad i promise you so many people get kicked out of their house so many people they end up fine they they find a they find a normal job it's not coming out like it's never too early it's never too late like if you feel a certain way like you need to you can't hide what you are like it's not good to hide what you are it can make you sick like all that anxiety all that stress all that fear like it'll make you sick literally like you'll get like ulcers in your stomach or something or you'll get depressed or like just like slow like like just it'll manifest it manifest itself um, in the end everything works out I'm 21 now, so, and things are, like, together finally, like, I mean, not fully. I recently got stomach ulcers in my stomach because I was taking um, ibuprofen too much because I got an STD, and I had, like, pain in my, like, a certain spot, <laughs> so I was taking ibuprofen, um, and that gave me stomach ulcers, and it was really bad, like, I didn't eat or sleep for, like, a whole month. Um, and I went to the ER a few times, that was not fun, <laughs> multiple times, like, specifically four times in one month I went to the ER, that was fucking crazy, it was not fun, it's not fun, um, like, if you're watching this and, like, you're scared, like, of coming out, like, don't be scared, like, it's all worth it at the end of the day, and, like, you're only bettering yourself, you're only making yourself happy, and that's what everyone should strive to do, like, who cares what the world thinks, like, just do it. Peace out, like, and prescribe, like, and subscribe, leave a comment, and yeah, stay tuned. Peace.